Everything seems to point to Piedra Island. That is where Penultimo's captors came from, and that is where they received their orders from. The island, with its three volcanoes, was quite famous in the past for its rich ore deposits and devastating natural disasters. Now, most of the ore has been mined, but the seismological problems persist, even more so in the last few months. Crazy as it may sound, I have enlisted the help of Dr. Steinschneider, I believe that his technical expertise will be very useful in my search for our mutual enemy. Having to endure the doctor's maniacal personality will be difficult. But if that is the price I have to pay to uncover the identity of my enemy, then so be it. Oh well, President, hey, aren't you just an idiot hiring Dr. Steinschneider? This is going to be one interesting mission. We're going to have a couple of earthquakes and maybe even volcanoes, it seems like, which is... Something that we haven't had yet in the modern times. President, Downloadable this content. island is too dangerous. It has not one, not two, but three volcanoes. Fortunately, the palace is just outside of the threat area. Beautiful. On top of everything else, the island has been hit by three earthquakes in the last two months. Why wouldn't our enemies choose a less dangerous place to hide? Dr. Steinschneider will arrive within a month to help us. You should start to set up a basic economy before he arrives in a month, really. I would suggest that we work to improve our relations with Europe to gain more foreign aid when a disaster strikes. Also, it would be good to lower the cost of our buildings. Urban development banks should help with that. Interesting. So now we're in 1966. Let's see what we start unlocking. All right, so we basically unlock the modern apartments right away. Nice. And well, I don't think we've gotten up to here. The Actually, I think we have gone past 1971. So it seems like we have, so now we have these uh, fishing farms right from the get-go, which is kind of cool. Um, what I want to do is actually build, uh, should we build, actually I don't want to build any tenements. I want to check, because they said that this island is rich in ore deposits. So let's just check, oh nice. But they all say, as I said, they all seem to be like depleted. Alright, wow, wow, look at all that. Wow man, that's crazy, alright, that's really ridiculous. Alright, so, basically what they're trying to get at is like, there's heaps and heaps of ore mines, but, uh, like, places that we can mine ore. But, uh, they're all basically being dug up before us, uh, so let's just build up over here as well. Let's actually build it on that, there we go, get rid of those damn rocks, and let's just connect them up with a road. So yeah, I am trying to, like, sort out a good, um, plan to, like, to upload all my videos on so like I could upload at a certain date each time like on a certain hour so that way you guys know say at 8 p.m. wherever you are then Tropico 4 is going to be coming out and say at 12 p.m. you know that Shogun 2 is going to be coming out from me I want to do like one video each and every day like one Tropico, one Shogun and one Sky modding video so that's what I want to do because I don't know I'm not really uh, like sort of organized to be honest I'm just uh, doing whatever and I here we go work in these conditions president I need my very own secret laboratory oh, cool. that volcano looks nice for a secret lab I mean lab secret lab uh, you do want to know what's happening on this island don't you strange seismic activity constant earthquake threats and we know that the people who abducted your advisor have something to do with all this you need answers and I need forty thousand dollars to set up my laboratory. Alright. So first of all we gotta get forty grand, which is good, so that gives us a rather lengthy time so we can actually build a good economy. Up here, let's just go oh, I don't wanna go there, I wanna go to housing, modern apartment blocks. There we go, we can already buy them, which is fantastic. Um yes, let's just check infrastructure, wind turbine, does it say on the timeline? I think we have to go even further to unlock the sun, whatever they call the, um... God, I could, why can I not ever remember anything that I want to talk about while I'm actually recording? So, the solar panels, that's what I wanted to say. The solar panel generator, whatever it was called. And yeah, I do want to sort of organize my channel a little better so you guys can know when I'm actually going to be uploading videos. So I want to get that done, and also what else? That's really about it. Just so I can actually know when I'm uploading like you guys know when I'm uploading on a certain time let's build two tenements up here and yeah I recently hit 10,000 subs so I'm moving up in the world which is great to see um 
uh, in talks with Machinima, I'd like to grow my channel just a little bit more, which is hopefully going to help me uh, out a bit. Maybe I want to get on Realm because I do like Realm type of games. It'd be interesting me getting on Realm. I want to see what will happen because Machinima doesn't really do that many different games like on Realm either. They do like Minecraft and all that other stuff. And what I really should do is just speed this up because this is going way too slow. Yes, cute cuddly, cuddly camels, alright. What's, what's this mission? President said, we need cash, lots of ca Damn right, you're a typical capitalist, aren't you? In these dangerous times, we need to build profitable businesses quickly. Using my contacts, President said, I can find investors willing to provide us with funds if we manage to build up our economy quickly. You have to decide what kind of investors I should contact. Keep in mind that there will be a time limit to these deals. Uh, we definitely want to build any factory. All right, that seems good. So let's just go to industry and let's build a weapons factory, which is over here. And, at, oh, how much is the jewelry? Oh man. All right. We just have enough money for it, which is great. Let's place that over here. There we go. And we're gonna be losing quite a bit of money, which I can deal with for the time being because well, each, every, each and every new year that passes by, we'll be having a bit, bit of foreign aid that's coming in as well. So I've been reading you guys' tips. Some of you guys actually said not to build, I think one guy said not to build an immigration office right away. Oh, here we go. Behold my latest creation, the Doomsday Clock. Using a non-linear spatial math thingy, <laughs> the Doomsday Clock will precisely predict future disasters. Yes, the ever so infamous Doomsday Clock. Using the information I've gathered so far, I was able to conduct or construct a Doomsday Clock that will show you how much time you have left before the next disaster. The device is so good that it can even predict how your decisions and actions will affect the arrival of new disasters. So that is always accurate. We have another mission that we can uptake. I just want this. There we go. Calling all builders. Build a new construction office. Presidente, we need many builders. See, these side missions are good because they do help us out a little bit as well. As you can see, we have lots of shacks here. We have a bit of a slum up here over on this side, which is kind of funny. The shacks never charge rent, so they're free. So basically, it works out better for them to, for the citizens just to live in shacks. But the, probably the quality of life is pretty shocking. And guys, hurry up and build this. Let's put, just stop construction on this. Stop construction on this seat as well. We have this mine constructed, and we have five workers up here already, which is nice to see. I just want the guys to hurry up and build this. We've got seven months left. We should get there by the time. By the t Yeah, there we go. We'll get there. So, yeah, I'm only getting... On my Shogun 2 videos, I'm not really getting the views that I'd want. Many of you guys are watching this, and not many of you... I think most of you guys that are watching this are like my past subscribers that have probably came from Tropico 4 are just interested in this game in general which is great to see I didn't really get that many new subscribers like just from people searching this game which is really good to see that there's an interest in this game from my subscribers and we got 20 grand in our treasury which is great because I did this and wow we've got a crap load of people working up here now now okay this okay okay Wow, the US hate us. I really need to check. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The earthquake All is right. over, Presidente. I am happy. What was that? That was a garage. What was over here? Well, it mustn't have been anything because... I don't know. I think it was just dust because it said only one garage was destroyed. So that's good. How oh, no. Close that. I'm not, definitely not doing that. You want us to build another construction office and I always do that. What? What? Wait, let me just check that again. Where are we? Infrastructure. Construction office is free. I must have completed some mission for that to happen or something. And some of you guys said that this isn't a glitch. The iron production is increased by 0% is not a glitch. It's just used to balance the game out. Then what the hell is the point of spending $5,000 and 10 megawatts on it then? I don't understand that idea or argument. It makes no sense to me. So anyways, um, we're just plowing along nicely. Uh, up garage, okay, that's our garage. What's up here? Construct there's uh, another construction office. We have another mission. Presidente, 
There was a whole lot of shaking going on last night. <laughs> While it made our session much more fun, I would prefer to be warned of future earthquakes in advance. Yes, yeah, so um, Miss Pineapple is the mistress of El Presidente, as was showcased in Tropico 4. Uh, we need a weather station, but we get $20,000 and 10%, 10 plus to intellectuals respect, so let's do that. I really don't want to do that mission. Um, demolish all farms with this wonderful thing task. has occurred. Mother Nature is happy. I don't really care about my Swiss bank account, to be honest. So, and we have a crap load of money, and soon the Arabs will be giving us money as well, because we're ugly as hell. So, because we have so much more money, um, let's just exploit more resources. Because that's where, the way we want to roll. Oh, what am I clicking on? More mines. Oh, there's actually a bauxite right next to the iron mine. Nice. Alright. Connect all these up with a road somehow. Oh, that's, there should be a main road through here between the uh, ancient ruins. Something like so. Oh. There we go. How, how good is that? This guy can come up through like something like so. There we go. Aren't I just a skilled planner, building planner? I really should take a, a job in city planning. Alright, um, we need to pay 40 grand, I, oh, should we do that? I don't think so, I don't think we should do that right away. Um, I'm really tempted to build a power plant, which I'm, actually, because we, we're in the water, let's build a nuclear one. It's got to be the other way, doesn't it? There we go, something like so. Connect that to the road. There we go. You beauty, so now we're never going to run out of energy either. And we have lots of people working in our weapons factory, which is great. Increase the job quality, and I'm not going to take that up just yet. Alright, shut up, Penultimate. Oh, yes, it is Penultimate. Let's just demolish this. Let's build a bio farm up here. Yes, our foreign relations are deteriorating, so it would be a good addition to like res restricted access. The impact on foreign relations is hard. Talking about restricted access, the Israelis don't let the uh, international like nuclear agencies check their nuclear deposits and their nuclear nuclear um, weaponry, but then they they want them to check out Iran. Fucking idiots! All right. Anyway, enough of me talking about God crack. does not Let's need temples. Well. Alright, student protest, blah blah blah. Oh god. Presidente, it is an earthquake. <laughs> the same. Wow, okay. The earthquake is over, Presidente. Okay. Tenements have been damaged, so repair. Rebuild. Damn. Isn't that. Th <laughs> this place is like not going too good, this garage. It's been demolished like a couple of times. There we go. Oh no, this is something completely new. Students and workers around the world have nope, I'm definitely not going to take that mission up. I'm not building two colleges, sorry. So we need a um, food and resources bio farm. So we can grow papaya, pineapple, coffee, tobacco, sugar. Well, here's a good place for sugar. Right. Beauty, so... Let's just now build that immigration office. I think that's it's a good time to build an immigration office. We don't have anyone working up here. Oh, we do. Right, yeah. We actually have a lot of people working up here. So we should be bringing in... Right, $1,500 of the imports. That should be enough. So, yeah. Um, let's get rid of those two guys. We don't need that much people working in our uranium facilities or our nuclear power plants just yet. Because we're not making, we're not, actually we don't really have anything that takes up power anyway, so. Okay, all these mines seem to be built, so, and they aren't completely filled up with people either, so we do need that immigration office. So now it's just a waiting game, really. Last night, as I was talking to God, he told me okay. he is disappointed in Tropical for not worshipping him properly. Yes, God's a fuck it, though. So let's go housing. Yes, yes, yes. More people, as many people as I possibly can have. 
There we go. That's good. And now we... Okay. So five... See? The... We need an immigration office right from the get-go, I think. That's the way I've always played Tropico 4 as well. And no one seemed to complain until now, so... I'm not exactly sure why that one person was saying that... Like, it doesn't really make a difference at the beginning. It does, because, like, we get... See, this time, the time the ship came this time, we only got five immigrants without a immigration office. We were with an immigration office set to open doors. And you get, like... Oh, God, here we go. Okay, thankfully... Oh, are you serious? It's just that garage. All the time. All the freaking time. But yeah, as I was saying, with an immigration office, you get about 17 immigrants. Which is great. Especially Look for the get-go. Okay, I don't really care about the greenies. All building prices decrease by 20%. Fantastic. Let's just check the timeline. Um, anything of note? I guess we do have the borehole mines, which are going to be unlocked. And there we go, the solar power plants. Alright. Nice. Alright. There we go. We got our 30 grand for the, from the Middle East as well. Let's just do that. Increase the production and half the impact of that. Now let's increase... Why does iron increase by 0%? I don't understand this. Like, really? Alright. I really do need that immigration office. So let's just go to... Government and Immigration Office and set it like so. There we go. Because we're going to have our houses for all these people that are going to be swarming into our cities as well. Yes, we have a rebel threat. I think we have enough of an army for the time being at least. These guys, these guys are working on sugar, aren't they? Cash crops. Oh, so it produces both tobacco, coffee and sugar? Actually, just produce corn, because here's a perfect area for corn. Alright, whatever. And we have a new mission that we can take up, which is called Mining Efficiency. Your current mining methods seem quite ineffective. I can design a better mine in my sleep. Okay, actually this might be the reason why they're at 0% for the iron mines, because maybe if we place the borehole mines, maybe we can increase them. Anyway. I think I'll start with a giant hole in the ground, blasted by explosives, or perhaps a giant laser drill mounted on a satellite. Of course, I'll need money for the prototype, but I can guarantee the technology will be ahead of, ahead of its time. Pay $10,000, borehole mine unlocked, minus 20% construction cost of the borehole mine. So the funny thing is, we haven't even paid Dr. Steinschneider for his little abode inside the volcano. Um, yes, pay the 10 grand. So we've unlocked the borehole mines now, which is great. So let's just check where we can use them. Cost four thousand two hundred dollars. Um, where would it be? Where would be a good place to put it? I don't really know. Do I, oh, how about up here? It's got the gold going. Let's connect that up to a road. Somehow, like, oh, like so. There we go. And we do have these. Both these pointless missions. No, I de definitely don't want to build too many colleges, etc. Alright, we seem to be going really well. We have a heck of a lot of power, as you can see, the uranium definitely does um, add up. Do that, and do that. We can waste a bit of money while we're at it. I just want to see what happens with the borehole mine if we can actually um, increase the iron production now, even though it's a gold mine. I just want to see. So yeah, also, you, from what I understand, you don't put your these mines, these olden day mines, on the actual resources up here because they actually just dig them from the ground. So if you put a, a building up here, then you won't be able to mine them. But with a borehole mine, you put it... Oh. Presidente, it is it's, it's that... Oh, 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 oh. The earthquake is over, President. That's definitely not good. All right. Damn, that's disappointing. All right, whatevs, whatevs. All right, we've basically built all that, which is great. A petition okay, has yes, arrived. Yes, in his names. All right, so um, okay, so here actually we can't actually improve it at all, which is interesting. So you can't improve borehole mines at all. 
Wow, we just got a lot of um, exports as well, which is great. Wow, that's really good. Okay. And from what I understand, that bolt hole mines just keep on digging forever and ever and ever, which is great. Um, I should start exploiting these like minerals as well. Let's just build a jewelry factory. Actually, let's build. Oh, we don't. What? Damn. So we must have been in a negative battle on, on our balance. So that's why we didn't. Have any bring in any uranium? So we got we can't go below zero. Obviously, we can't go in a deficit. Hiring educated workers from abroad is disabled. Whatever, it doesn't really bother me as of right now because I want to educate my people or educate my people. Um, right, let's just put it here. It doesn't really make a difference where we put it really. As long as the people are educated, and let's go to not entertainment but education media. Actually, maybe it is entertainment. There we go. Childhood museum. That's what I wanted. Just to shut those loyalists up. And you want us to build a weather and s weather station? Okay. So weather stations stations would be. Hmm. Where are weather stations? I think it's a TV station, except you just change it. Presidente. There was a whole lot of shaking going on last night. While it made our session much more fun. I th so I think we need to build a TV station, from what I understand, and then just change it. If we don't, then that sucks. Damn, we just waited eight, wasted eight grand. All right, how do you build a weather station? What would have been infrastructure? I do not know. Industry, no. Education, media, no. Hmm, government, it's not there. Why would it be in entertainment? See, there's this thing, I just don't know. Oh, oh god damn. I know, just the idiot. That's because I, I never used a weather station before. I, like, I've had no need for using one. Um, so, we basically built that tenement back up. We, might have like gotten away with not building it, but you know, whatever. All right, Doomsday Clock disaster imminence. I uh, heard the water. It sounds like we're gonna have a tsunami or something. Got arrested communists. Say that no. Presidente. All right, hurry up, my um, construction workers. Just hurry up and build. Right, these guys are working hard. We should be exporting a crap load of money. There we go. Oh, here we go. We got one of the volcanoes finally erupting. And then the rocks just go and hit our buildings, so we do have to keep that in mind. I bet you a fair few of the mines are going to be hit, as you can see the weather. Where is the actual volcano? There it is. So, uh, really unrealistically, these um, massive rocks start flying up over here. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't really affect that much. Doesn't really look like they do. Alright. So we've built that and seismic detector upgrade. Alright, here we go. The communists want to talk to us for whatever the reason. Comrade, food for the masses is essential and our supplies are in shortage. I know, I know, I know. Look how many people we got coming up here. Alright, so let's just pay this bastard the 40 grand. Oh there we go, that's pretty easy. Export it. We should have read what he wanted to say. Here we go. Fascinating. It seems that the quake has uncovered. Uh, many mineral deposits. I have to examine them more closely. I have to admit that the seismic activity on this island is quite unusual. The earthquakes are opening more and more. Iron micro deposits. I need lots of samples if I am to unlock the mysteries of this island. You can still use what's left of the ore after I'm done with it, but you won't fetch a high price. Okay. Okay, how's that immigration office going? It seems to be going okay. Alright, we seem to be going well. I can't really complain how we're going. We have the electricity for our needs and I do need to upgrade this to the seismic detector. There we go. Um, predicts the armies and preventing casualties and... Oh, it doesn't really bother me. I just want the seismic activity because that was part of the mission. And we still have that little, little dark type of weather or whatever you want to call it because of that 
President Volcano, we do have an uprising threat. I'm not really too fussed about that as of yet. We got $20,000 added to our tre treasury for whatever the reason. Why is this blue? I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea whether it's blue. Anyway. Let's zoom out a little and let's just go looking for more mines because he said that the earthquakes did discover or uncover some more deposits. Anything closer? Oh, nice. Very nice indeed. Let's spin around this way so it's easier to enter. There we go. Something like that. Infrastructure road. Beauty. All right. Uh, we have an, the Steinschneider Research Fund. Great science is like the lottery, Presidente. Sometimes you win, but usually you don't. Wise words have never been spoken. As you know, you need a lots of money for a lottery. The same goes to science as well. It's high time you invested in the Steinschneider Research Fund. Of course, you can't rush genius, Presidente, and we don't know when actual results will become available. Never. You'll give money for research each month based on the chosen funding model. Ran reward is one random technology upon research completion. All right. Probably all adds up to the same. So really, I could care less. And well, we do have the money to burn anyway, so it's not like I'm going to be overly fussed about it. Um, so is this really zero percent? I don't understand it at all. Why is it? Why would it be zero percent? Um, let's increase the iron then. Okay. Uh, you're not even reaching the elect electric um, I don't know, area of influence, so let's just build a substation somewhere around here. Let's quick build it while we're at it. There we go, you beauty. And now you can just increase bauxite. And yes. Alright. There we go. Alrighty, we do have an uprising threat, so have we built all our buildings that we want to? Yes, we have. Um, oh god, here we go, another volcano. Thankfully, we don't need to watch the volcanoes all the time. I think this, there, well, there's three volcanoes. I'm guessing that they all erupt sooner or later. And this one, where is it? Where's this volcano? There's one up here, no? It's not that one. It's this one, now. Alright, where are these rocks going? It's gonna hit that. I guarantee you. Too many shacks, blah blah blah. There we go, that's on fire. We can't extinguish it though, so it's gonna burn down. At last, my greatest contraption is complete, Presidente. Fantastic. After countless days and nights spent thinking, drinking, and considering stuff, I was able to provide you with the following technology. Donation generation machine. Minus 20% cheaper construction costs for welfare and economic buildings. Uh, well, we're gonna have to let these is this burning? No, it's not. Beast. We just upgraded them as well. Oh, this guy's burning as well. Oh, well. Not much I can do about that then, is there? Oh, the high school though. Alright. Let's just go to government. Fire station. Let's quickly build it up here. There we go. Quick build. We do need some, a lot more workers. I just want this. To hurry up! Just extinguish the high school, please. Oh no, this is gonna be tragic, isn't it? This is gonna be really bad. God damn, that ringing noise gets really annoying. Let's see what this new mission is. Great science is. Like oh, so this is probably gonna be permanent. We're probably gonna be able to get new missions permanently. Uh, are these things filled? Yes, they are. Uh, how come you have not delivered any electricity yet? Upgrade this back to five grand. Alright, it looks like that's going to burn down. Which is disappointing. I've got to say. Um, I want to go to housing and build another modern apartment block. Somehow like so, there we go. There we go, that should be enough for the time being. Tropical is going... There we go, we got our workers. Please hurry up. Please hurry up there. Oh, this is... This is gone. Oh! Oh, what a saviour! Joaquin Alvarez! Man, we should like bribe him something. Unfortunately, we can't. All we can do is eliminate him. 
What a champ. Alright. These places have burnt down, so that's great news for me. Oh, the seismologists working at the weather station predict a huge earthquake is bound to happen in the next few months. Explosions never fail to excite me. Alright. Now let's just get it back to food and resources and build those borehole mines that are much needed. Is that burning as well? No, it's not. It just always seems like it. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so let's just go to food and resources, borehole mine, and build something like so. Food and resources, borehole mine, like so. And food and resources, borehole mine, like so. Connect them up all next to the roads. There we go. The good thing about this is that all the missions get more and more exciting as we go on because we unlock new technologies and buildings, etc., etc. Because we keep on playing later and later into the end game. Oh god, here we go. Hopefully that doesn't get destroyed. The oh, just the weather over, station. President. That's alright. We've got more than enough money for that. Um, what's up here? What's your problem? There's just no people around here. Alright, let's just check. We haven't checked our factional support. The religious don't like us and the environmentalists. The loyalists could like us a little bit more. Alright, everyone seems to like us. I really had no point in checking that. We haven't built a church yet though, have we? I thought we did. Clearly I was wrong. So, let's do that. Welfare and Economy Church. And we one up here. There we go. I do want to hire some more workers. Okay, angry. Oh, God. Presidente, there has been a huge revolution in several Middle Eastern countries. Alright, would you not support extremists? Because I don't really care about the Arabs right now. To be honest. Um, because, basically because they already gave us what we needed. Uh, we have a rebel attack. The rebels are launching an attack. So, we do have to start building up our army bases now. During education, we're on a military education. Let's start building some colleges as well. Actually, let's just take up that college mission. Have and have two colleges. Students and so we can do those missions basically so let's do that let's go education media college build one college up like so let's build another one while we're at it there we go oh, oh god that ball hole mine got destroyed really that's disappointing oh this we guy's new been following your progress president day it seems that you are looking into things that don't concern you we would advise you to stop. Right, researching seismic activity is not a job worthy of a president. Hey, don't you agree? Permit us to suggest you turn your attention to your country and the subjects instead. They will need you in these troubled times. P.S. We leave you with a gentle warning about the consequences of your actions. The shadow. Oh, God. And here we go with another earthquake. What the hell got destroyed then? At last. My greatest contraption is complete, President. Oh, nice. Quicker drying cement. Th minus 33%. Faster building time for all buildings. Nice. That'll come in handy. A tenement. The earthquake is oh, over, God. President. So many buildings get destroyed. A tenement. We probably really should not have. Oh, well, we shouldn't have probably improved that, but anyway. Good news, President. The source of the seismic activity is not natural in nature. You think? Someone is triggering the earthquakes artificially. Alright, based on my analysis, I can conclude that 97.1% certainty, with 97.1% certainty, um, that the enemy is somewhere beneath the island. To give you a more precise location of their hidden base, I need more samples. Bauxite will work best if you want to keep our search um, on the down low, but you can also use iron. Use bauxite, definitely use bauxite. You need bigger guns, and we Alrighty. If you call in the um, next so, minutes, with that, I think I'm going to end this episode right now. We've built up a rather stable economy, as you can see. We're making a uh, large revenue stream. We have a large revenue stream, I should say. Um, 
Great just, the funding that um, Dr. Steinschneider does for us is rather good, I have to say. Um, so, with that being said, I actually want to build a, another Teamster's office, and I'm going to end this episode right after we do that. The Teamster's office can go up here. Somehow. There we go. And a garage. So, infrastructure, garage. Let's see where can we, we can sneak one in. Somewhere like so. What's this mission? Build a new TV station? Guilt is a powerful tool, Presidente. For example, sad pictures can make foreigners right, feel Shut up. We just gain additional wealth. foreign aid after disasters money. based on the number of journalists on the island. I don't really care, to be honest. So, with that being said, that is going to be the end of this episode. We've built up a steady economy, as I've said, and we will be back, hopefully, really soon, guys.